What's up guys, and welcome to Crimson Land. This is a game available ever since earlier this week on PS4 and Steam. Obviously, since it's only available for PS4, it is not cross by but as we get into the gameplay here, I'm gonna explain a few things. This game, if you can get it on Steam above PS4, I do recommend it. Now, that's not harping on the PS4 at all. The PS4 is awesome, but this game is a top-down shooter, as you can obviously see on the screen. You have a top-down perspective, and the idea is to shoot the many, many en enemies coming at you. Personally, this might just be a personal idea, but I think it's much, much easier to handle this with a mouse and keyboard. The accuracy is a lot more handy, a lot more quick, a lot more sort of just flowing and natural on a keyboard and mouse. But I guess it's up to you guys to decide if you actually play a lot of top-down shooters and you're comfortable with them being on controller, Crimson Land is awesome to pick up. Now Crimson Land is as simple as it looks. You know, you see what you get here. Um, you see a top-down shooter with tons and tons of enemies, with a lot of guns, with a lot of power-ups, with four-player possibilities, local only. You see a lot here, and there's a lot of cool stuff. There is a indefinite survival mode, and there's sort of variations of that. And then you also have this quest mode, which is what I'm playing, which basically we have a number of smaller challenges that we have to complete that can get very difficult. But doing so will unlock as different perks for survival mode. It even may even unlock some survival mode modes. <laughs> and we can also unlock guns and just a bunch of different stuff from playing through the quests. And that's the simpleness of Crimson Land. It's not complex at all. It's a point-and-shoot, top-down shooter. Normally, I don't really like these kinds of games, but this one's sort of growing on me. It's fun, it's simple. It doesn't over-complexize itself. It's, it's just shoot a bunch of enemies, try to survive. If you can do it, then you're awesome. If you can't, then get better, you know? And that's the simpleness of it, and that's something you can really enjoy about this game. And there we go, we unlocked a new perk. Now, perks aren't really applying to us here. But if we go out of here and we go to the quest menu, we can go to a survival mode. And in the survival mode, we can uh, have those perks sort of available to us. Basically, we go to survival mode, and there's different survival modes. I only have two unlocked right now, the basic classic survival, survive as long as you can. And then there's rush, which basically gives me an AK-47 with unlimited ammo and throws a ton of enemies at me to see how many I can kill. But we're going to do survival mode and just keep it nice and simple. And of course, this is where high scores come in. You can try really hard to uh, beat some enemies or, you know, just really, really hard to kill as many enemies as possible so that you get high on that scoreboard. And so it's, if you're competitive with scoreboards, you like getting number one all in the world, this is a good game for you. Easy to pick up, easy to, you know, get better at and just keep trying and trying. Here we go, here's my AK, to start running things down. Obviously, if you have arachnophobia, this game is not for you. <laughs> but uh, this is the simplicity of it. There's a lot of charm here, but there's... Not, I'm not, I'm not going to say there's a ton of depth. Like, you know, you like I said earlier, what you see is what you get here. There isn't that much, you know, straying off from that. So, if you like a top-down shooter where you get to shoot stuff all the dang time with a ton of power-ups, a ton of guns, and there's different ways sort of to play with all the different guns. I mean, this might be the game for you. Okay, looks like I got an extra shield here. Start mowing them down. It's really hard surviving. Basically, for this survival mode, you can see on the top bar there is a progress bar. And that is our a uh, level bar. So whenever we level up, we get to choose a new perk. And that's where the perks come in. Let's just start mowing these guys down. It would be sort of nice, like the game, the controls are very simple. Literally all we have is run, shoot, reload. There's no nuke button, there's no uh, speed up button. We do run in the power-ups that do that for us. Okay, so now we can pick a perk. Telekinetic, with the power of your magnificent mind, you slowly but steadily move the nearest power-up at your direction. Perk expert, which is just, I don't even know, hot-tempered uh, and plague bearer. You carry a horrible disease, uh, I'll do this one. Sometimes, usually trying to get the uh, power-ups is usually what kills me in the end. Because of the fact that you have to dive into a huge plot of enemies to get to it. Now let's start tearing these guys up. Look at this. Getting the slow down. Already another level up. Uh... No. Yeah, there's some really weird perks here. And, uh... Okay, let's do that. And let's just, just start tearing everybody up. It's just, you know, these bullets actually really do, like, destroy the enemies. It's awesome. 
Ooh, and a times 2 XP. Wow, we're getting all the power-ups here. This is awesome. Okay, this is working out really, really well. Ooh, 500 free XP. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. And it gets it really enjoyable. If this is like any, if this is your game, if you like this type of game, you'll be playing this for hours. Okay, we got Fatal Lottery, Internal Contract. No. Okay, let's do this one. So we have an AK, so, re so reloading's really important. And this is, I don't know, I really enjoy this one. I wasn't expecting to, because it's like, the game looks sort of simple. You know, I think that, I don't know, I'd probably say the major gripe, in my opinion, is that visually I'm not entertained. You know, it's not, you know, something that sort of dances with the eye, I guess you could say. It's not like some amazingly visually pleasing thing, but maybe that's a good thing. Maybe the simplicity makes it easier to see what you're doing. Okay, let's try to survive here. We got all these salamander dudes. We got Gex to Gecko all over us right now. <laughs> This ice move's great because it just destroys everything really quick. Oh god, we have like arachnids with pincer ma mouths. Oh god, everything is getting like horrifying. Okay, I need to. It's very hard to actually kite things in this game because, of course, we're in a boxed area. So it can be very, very hard to deal with everything. Bloody mess. Uh. Let's see this one. There's blood everywhere. This shouldn't be a problem. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Get out of the way. Get out of my way, you fiends. No, no, I'm being eaten. I'm being eaten. I need that right now. Ooh, Ooh awesome. Okay, this is working out really well. Wow, okay, we really cleared him out, and then I just ran into a bunch of enemies. This is Crimson Land. Really good fun, especially if you have some local people around because of that four-player local co-op. And this is basically it. You can get it on the PSN, you can get it on Steam. Like I said, I probably do suggest the Steam version, but that's up to you. That's up to your preference and your skills as gamer. This has been Zebra. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, sharing it with your friends, commenting your thoughts, or even subscribing to get alerted whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.